Hello friends, in today's lecture, we will be understanding some MCQs on situation reaction test type 2. Students, we have already seen type 1. In type 2, we will be seeing some MCQs which are related to our professional life. So let us start with the first MCQ. The first MCQ says, if you are a manager and one of your employees is not working properly, as a manager, you would first thing, fire him. Second, give the man two weeks to improve. Third, try to develop the man's ability and interest in another job. And number four is try to talk and try to find out his problem. Now students, if we see the first option, fire him. This shows that you are very unprofessional in terms of a manager. So we can definitely say that option one is not the right answer. If the person is consistently doing bad, the first thing what you can do is find the root cause of his problem. The second one is give the man two weeks to improve. Now students, it is not necessary that it will take two weeks or two days or two months for a person to improve and show his ability. It may take some time or it may take less time also. But the thing which you have to do from your side is just try to help him out. Now let us see option three. It says try to develop the man's ability and interest in another job. Now students, the third option says that we have to help him out in finding out a new job. But students, this shows that you are trying to remove him out from the job or you are trying to find out his interest in some another job. But we need people who are interested in our job and for the improvement of the company. So let us see option four, which is talk to him and try to find out his problem. Being a professional, the first thing which you need to do is back up your own team members. Until and unless you are not finding a solution to his problem, the company of yours will be bound to fail. So the first thing which you need to do is try to talk to him and try to find out his problem. So option four is the right answer. Now the next question says, the previous day of your interview, your friend comes and tells you that the expert for the interview is a very tough person. So you will what? First, stop the preparation. Second, you are consoled that you have applied for other posts too. Third, pray that only simple questions are asked. And fourth, you are not bothered as you have prepared well. Students, let us discuss the first option. It says stop preparation. Now, students, when we talk about the first option, which is stop preparation, it shows that you are a very unprofessional kind of a person and you are showing your weakness by stop preparing. So the first option will be automatically discarded. Second is you are consoled that you have applied for other posts too. Now, it is not necessary that you will get success in the other posts too also. So the first thing what you have to do is be cool and get the solution from it. So the second also, so the second option will also be discarded. The third one is that pray that only simple questions are asked. Such kind of things happen in our personal and professional life also. It happens in our school and college vivas too. That whenever we feel that we are not prepared for it, we try praying. But praying is not the solution to anything. No one is going to help you out from the top. So the first thing what you have to do is your reaction to this should be you are not bothered as you have prepared well. Hopefully in a situation you have prepared well and try to it that you answer all the questions in a personal way and try. <coughs> so hopefully you answer all the questions in a professional way and try preparing well so that even if you're having a cool boss or an angry boss or a professional or a tough boss, you have to give all the questions with a proper answer. So the answer is question is option four. The next question says, you are a team leader and two of your colleagues are having a strained relationship with each other. As a result, they are not contributing well in group activities. How will you handle the situation? First option says you won't be bothered by the petty issues. 
students here we are having two people working in the same company or maybe they are working on the same post too so as a professional you need to mend their ways you cannot be irresponsible and say that you won't be bothered by the petty issues because when two professionals are working these two people are also handling the company so we cannot say that option one is the right answer second one is you will try your level best to mend their ways let us see the third option is you will give them some task where they work with each other if you see option three we try to mend ways by bringing them together but sometimes what happens is instead of getting a solution we aggravate the problem so option three also may not be the right answer let us see the fourth one you will punish them for not contributing students such kind of things always happen in our personal professional life too where if things are not working we need to punish the opposite person so this does not give a complete solution to our question so we have to say that option two which says that you will try your level best to mend their ways is the right answer you need to discuss things between you three guys you will be as the mediator between two of them then try solving their ways and try to get them back so option two is the right answer which says that you will try your level best to mend their ways so option two is the right answer the next mcq says do you think that one should change his job to face new situations option one is no unless compelled one should not leave his old job students option one is always the attitude of today's people they feel that we should be in a comfort level or a comfort zone and not explore new challenges so we can say that option one is not a right answer second one is yes every new job is challenging and one should accept the challenges that is what i had said now if you do not explore new things you will not get the best ability out of yourself option three is no as it takes time to get adjusted again this is one kind of a situation where every one of us is facing where we feel that it takes time to get adjusted but if we keep on saying these things we will be saturated and we will not get the best out of ourselves so we can definitely say that the answer to this question is option two which is yes every new job is challenging and one should accept the challenges now the next mcq says you are interviewed for a new job which of the following questions are important to you the first option is opportunities for promotions number two is remunerations you will be paid third scope to develop your ideas and use them to improve the working for the organization and number four is all are equally important so students if i talk about opportunities for promotions this is the most important thing which everyone thinks about which is the promotion how will i get promoted from one post to another post so definitely the first part is important second remunerations you will be paid for example the housing allowances and xyz if you talk about the pf part that is called as remuneration third one is scope to develop your ideas and use them to improve the working for your organization so the third option means your contribution if you're contributing your ideas to the company it shows that you will get the benefits and also the benefits for the company so the third option is also right from our side and the fourth option is all are equally important so if we see the first three options we can definitely say that all of them are equally important which are opportunities for promotion remunerations you will be paid third is scope to develop your ideas hence all of the three are the right options so option four is the right answer thank you for watching this video stay tuned to informatica and do subscribe my channel